And today, this is how the American road looks. The whole nation has become swift and mobile. Flowing along over a great network of highways more than three million miles long and constantly growing. The American road has lifted itself high above the muddy ruts of 50 years ago. The road has bridged the gulf between city and country. Their ways of life have mingled and both share the fruits of progress equally. Machines have taken the burden of work from the back of the farmer. No longer do the women on the farms grow old before their time. And the people of the cities have been able to move out into quiet communities full of sun and fresh air that seem almost like living in the country. The old country schoolhouse has vanished and the energy of the children is no longer wasted in walking miles to get there. The worker of today no longer has to live close to the plant that employs him. His home is in pleasant surroundings and he drives to work. Every car on the American road, every new building that towers against the sky is a sign of our progress towards a better way of life. But perhaps the most wonderful thing about the American road is the freedom it gives us. You've only to get in your car and start driving to feel it. The American road. What magnificent vistas open up before us as we travel along it. We have come a long way since the quadricycle and the Model T. These short years, our whole way of life has changed. We have accomplished much, but the achievements to come will dwarf our own. The American road stretches ahead of us, all towards a new horizon. We are all traveling along that road, all moving forward towards an even better tomorrow.